Hey everyone, I'm Kelly Wallace. It's iVillage 5 time. Number one, the diplomat. Give an A to the first lady for her diplomacy on The Tonight Show about that much talked about sultry singing by her husband that has gone viral. She revealed the commander in chief sings to her all the time and about her husband's possible competitor, Mitt Romney, and his rendition of America the Beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Classy Mrs. Obama and great comedic timing. Number two, premature victory. Mitt Romney wasn't singing about his double-digit win over Newt Gingrich in Florida, but he was sure fired up, saying a competitive primary doesn't divide the GOP, it will help Republicans win. But Mitt, that's not necessarily the case, according to the history books. Only one dragged out GOP primary battle in the 20th century resulted in a win for Republicans. Number three, no nip slips. Don't expect Madonna to follow in Janet Jackson's Super Bowl footsteps. There will be no nipples, the 53-year-old queen of pop says, in advance of her halftime show Sunday, which she describes as the most nerve-wracking thing she's ever done. Many of our eye voices are so excited, well, they're already channeling their inner and outer material girl. And now, the iVillage 5 question of the week. In honor of the Super Bowl, which singer, already in a tussle with Madonna, dissed her by saying, quote, make sure you lip sync good. Ouch. The answer in seconds. Number four, Riot. This, my friends, is one of the funniest things we've ever seen. Apparently, actress Kristen Bell has always wanted a sloth. She's obsessed with the furry animal. So when her fiancé, the fabulous Dax Shepard, surprised her with one for her birthday, she had a meltdown of epic proportions that Dax captured on video and Bell shared on Ellen. <laughs> Number five, out. Talk about shakeup. The host of X Factor and judges Paula Abdul and Nicole Scherzinger are leaving the show. Clearly a sign that Simon Cowell wasn't pleased with the didn't live up to expectations first season. So what does he have up his sleeve for season two? We'll be watching to find out. And now the answer to the I Village 5 question of the week, Elton John. First, his partner slammed Madonna when she won the Golden Globe over Elton, and now Elton himself is dissing her in advance of her Super Bowl show. That's a wrap for this week's iVillage 5. Thanks for watching. See you next time.